Good morning guys, it is party prep day. So today is Saturday, Penelope's first birthday is tomorrow. Her actual birthday, her party, um, the whole nine. I, again, explained this in my last vlog, but we're not doing anything crazy. We're doing something pretty small um, because of, you know, what's going on. <laughs> pandemic life um but i still wanted to make it special and you know have something cute for pictures and memories and all that stuff so i've been doing little things here and there getting ready um i recently diy'd some diy'd some vases for her uh dessert table and did some flower arrangements so i'm gonna put that clip in here So I love how they came out. I think they're so pretty and I wanted them to come out nice because I also want to keep them after because the arrangements themselves were not cheap. <laughs> I think it was like 10 bucks like each like bulk of them and then I bought probably like six or seven of them so that I can like make the arrangements that I wanted. I got them all at Michael's um, and I didn't show myself doing the arrangements just because I literally cut open the package and like just put them the way I wanted. Like there wasn't really much to it, but <laughs> um, I'll show you guys them again in a minute when I start to like do her dessert table and clean up and all that. So that is what's gonna happen today. My sister is actually running errands outside for me so that I can be home while Penelope is napping. I can try to get some things set up here while she's doing that. So she's like filling balloons. Um, I needed her to go to the supermarket and get a couple things for me. So it just made it easier. And then she's gonna come back here and help me kind of set up some things. We have to move furniture. We have a lot to do. <laughs> I have to do the balloon arch and I don't know how I'm gonna do it with Penelope because There's only so much I can do when she's napping because I can't make a lot of noise since we're in a very small apartment She can hear everything even with the sound machine on and then when she's awake It's hard obviously because she wants to be in the middle of everything. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes <laughs> My mom was supposed to come and visit and she was gonna be a huge help because she could have kept Penelope busy While me and my sister set up but she couldn't come because my brother got COVID He actually got it from his girlfriend who got it from her roommate who her roommate went to a party full of kids. She got it and they gave it to her, my brother's girlfriend, and then my brother's girlfriend gave it to my brother. So, you know, that's great. This was weeks ago, but my mom just wants to be extra careful. So she just decided to push it off an extra week. She already tested negative. He already tested negative. He's already back at work. She's back at work. Like this is, this happened a little bit ago, but she just wants to be extra careful. So I don't blame her. I'm okay with that. I'm a little bummed she won't be here for the actual birthday because I have not seen my mom since I gave birth, like, and she couldn't even be in the room because of, you know, Corona. So I had to only see her when I came home from the hospital. And so, yeah, that's just a whole bummer, but enough blabbering. I'm sure if you're clicking on this video, if you're not a subscriber of mine, you just want to see the party prep. So let me show you guys a couple things quickly. So I ordered this sign for her cake off of Etsy. A lot of the little things I got off of Etsy but it was wood and I wanted it to be white, so I spray painted it. Um, I DIY'd this cake stand. I didn't film it, I should have probably, but I showed this on Instagram. It's just a candlestick holder from the dollar store and a glass like cutting tray from the dollar store. And then I just hot glue gunned it together and spray painted it white. And I'm gonna use this for her like mini cake, her smash cake that my sister's picking up at 
the grocery store. I decided to just like get a grocery store cake for her smash cake because it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna like ice it white, like fix the icing and put a little candle in it. And then I ordered her like actual cake for the party that my husband will pick up tomorrow. I also um, picked up some, what's these? These are like um, donut <laughs> like stands from Amazon that I have to put together. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna show you guys when I turn around the camera. Also, um, really quick, I didn't mention this in my vlog, but my nephew's birthday is the same exact day as Penelope's birthday and he'll be turning four. So because I'm doing it or doing this little party on her actual birthday, it's act it's his actual birthday too, I decided to like make him like a little table, nothing crazy, but he's into Legos right now. So I ordered him a Lego cake and I'm gonna do like a little table for him too with some balloons just so he doesn't feel like, you know, left out because I feel kind of bad that it's like on the same day, but it's her first birthday and we're not all, like my husband's only off on Sundays. So it's like really hard to do it any other day unless I pushed it to the next Sunday. So anyway, that's what that's gonna be. If you guys see me setting that up and like what's going on, I'm doing like a little table for him also. And yeah, so let's get this party prep started. <laughs> God, guys this party planning stuff is no joke <laughs> I had to run out to go get pictures printed for her um, what's it called her banner her like 12 month banner forgot one of them so now I have to go back I think I'm gonna go back at night when she's sleeping and I'm gonna just try to like break night and 
get everything else done because it's just impossible with her here trying to get everything done i've already given her like multiple snacks she's been watching tv like i just need like i'm just surviving right now trying to get everything done so so far this is what the table looks like i think it looks so cute um these are for the donuts so donuts are gonna go on there the cake obviously her smash cake then i have these trays for cookies um and then i printed i just got back from printing these pictures and i just put them in the in a frame they um from from the dollar store like super cheap um i didn't i don't know if i showed you guys the rest of this stuff i'm also starving so these are the flower arrangements um that i made with all dried flowers from michael's and then the vases i showed you guys the diy for <laughs> look at this crazy girl over here Um, and then these are from home goods. These two I didn't even bother like I just bought picked them up one day They were not that expensive. I think they were like 10 bucks each cake stand was borrowed from my sister And then I did this really pretty kind of like I don't even know what to call it But it's gonna like fall off the table. I might do a little tuck. I'm not sure um, Got that from Amazon and it's like a peachy kind of color So it goes really well with her theme even though when I ordered it I thought it was like honestly like an off-white but it works well so whatever um her high chair cover I got from Etsy or not cover what is this Can you guys tell I'm like losing my mind this is her like little decor thing that goes in the front of her high chair um I'm not gonna put that on until tomorrow because she will ruin it because it's just paper I spend way too much on that I would not do that again I will just make it the next time then I also have this banner that says one of a kind because if you followed my last vlog that's her theme, one of a kind. Like not literal one of a kind birthday because a lot of people do boho, but um, you know what I'm saying, right? I, I literally haven't eaten. I had a bowl of Cheerios all day. It's like two o'clock. My sister is blowing up the balloons in my um, in Penelope's nursery because Penelope's scared of the pump. God bless you, baby. So as soon as she's done filling up all the balloons, I'm going to hopefully put up the balloon arch and then put up the macrame that I bought for the dessert table wall. But the living room looks like master right now just because um, there's still stuff everywhere. Her toys are everywhere. But this is kind of what we're looking like. So I, I think I'm leaving this because I don't really have anywhere to put it. Oh, I'm glad you found out how to take off the covers to this. Oh my God, Penelope. No, no, no. We do not put our fingers in here. This is exactly what I mean. Like I need someone to watch her while I did this. So this is what we're looking like. I decided to move the couch back where it was because it just made more sense to put the food table here this looks crazy i know but i'm gonna be moving all her toys away and everything so it won't be so messy and obviously the table is gonna be put together right now it's just like housing the rest of our stuff i moved my bar cart over here and i think i'm gonna put a charcuterie board on top of here if not then i'll just put it on the actual food table. This is like gonna be my little nephew setup. So that table was actually over here and I moved it. So I just tried to like rearrange the apartment the best I could because we're working with a very small space and about 10 people. So move some chairs around. I don't know. What do you think? This is all for you, miss. <laughs> that is where the balloon arch is gonna go. That's why I took off the frames and I just said whatever because I'm gonna make this her play mostly her play area after anyway so I just took them off and then I'll push this table back put the macrame here fix all of this and so we'll see how much else I can vlog just because it's just I don't know it's a lot going on and I'm trying to like rush just checking on my sister Last oh my god perfect time <laughs> she's sitting here doing this don't pop the last balloon
so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you guys where we're at right now with her backdrop for her high chair and then where we're at with the dessert table. I decided to switch around the macrame. In my mind, originally I wanted the macrame with her high chair, but then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it on, you know, where the dessert table is. But I mean, it's like such a big wall, I needed to fill it. So I did that. Anyway, let me show you. I think it looks so cute. I wish I still had my rug because it definitely would have made such a cute, warm space. But the dogs ruined it, so I had to get rid of it. Um, had I been able to set this up before, I would have definitely got like even like a round jute rug to just put right there, and I think it would have been so cute. But it's fine, no big deal. Balloon arch looks amazing. That's the macrame. I have this vase here with some pompous that I'm gonna fluff up and stuff, and then I have to fix up her high chair. I have the high chair tassels that I showed you guys before. I have more balloons to stuff in where I need to stuff. Then I also want to put some of the extra florals that I have in the balloon arch, which I have over here. There was only one of this really pretty pink color that goes with her theme, which I'm kind of bummed about because I definitely would have bought more, but it's okay. And this is what I was talking about before about like how it comes in bunches. Like one of these little bunches is like $8 or something like that, $9. So it's definitely not cheap, but I don't know. I like the look. I like that I can plan ahead because it's dried, so whatever. Um. So this is what it's looking like over here. Then this is the dessert table. I'm talking low because Penelope's napping. And this is what we're looking like over here with a dessert table. I'll probably push it over a little bit more, uh, get rid of my Roomba, but I love how the florals look. And I went to go get her pictures taken, like I said, or printed, I forgot one month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang her banner here for her one month and it's it's a little bit still of a big wall for just that, but it's fine, like it's okay. I'd rather does the dessert table not be like super balanced than where she's gonna be like, where we're gonna be taking pictures and stuff, if that makes sense. So that is how that's looking. I'm gonna stream or I'm gonna kind of put the clear, what's this, fishing thread, whatever, <laughs> through her one of a kind sign right now. And I'm gonna see how it looks. Cause in my mind, I was gonna put it here. Like, you know, but it might look weird. It might be too much going on. So let's see, let's see how this looks. Is that the birthday girl? It is, it is. Are we watching Peppa Pig? Cause it's your birthday and you can do whatever you want today. Her favorite is actually Blue's Clues, but we already watched that one <laughs> while she was eating breakfast. So um, today's officially Penelope's first birthday. I can't believe I'm saying that. Sorry, it's Peppa Pig. Yes, it's your first birthday. Um, sorry if Peppa Pig is really loud in the background. So I sit up till about 10.30 last night finishing um, prepping. I actually didn't finish finish, but I did pretty much everything. Um, the only thing that I have to do now is decorate her high chair, which I'm not gonna do till after lunch because she gets very messy and I don't wanna ruin the tassels that I bought her because they're just paper. And I have to finish streaming her, what's it called? Her number, what is it? Monthly pictures. Ah! I finished like doing them last night and when I did them I realized that I actually did have all 12 months I thought I missed one month for some reason so I didn't have to go out and get that one picture printed which is amazing um, but that's finished and I did that last night quickly and then I streamed them but then they fell this morning so I need to use like stronger tape I think it's just like the material of the the thread Oh my god, I'm so crooked. But yeah, so I just have to do that. The two cakes and the cookies my husband is picking up now. It's actually 8, 10 a.m. But if you're a mom, you know, or you're a parent, you're up early doing stuff with your kid or they're up or you're trying to get up and have a little time for yourself before your kid wakes up. So we've been up for a little bit. She slept pretty well, actually. I thought about it and it's because it's daylight savings because technically she woke up at 6 a.m. But... She was up at seven because it was daylight saving. So I'm, I'm about that. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys. <laughs> I also got my nephew's party table set up. It's just like a small little table just so he doesn't feel left out. Um, but this is kind of what I got working with here. I was gonna put his cake here, but this table's so small. 
I'm nervous. I don't want it to fall. So I don't know yet. I might just put his gifts on the side and then I got him a huge four balloon and I'll get him a couple other balloons to put here. So this will be like his little table. They can take pictures if they want with him here. And then yesterday I added some of the dried flowers in the balloon art. Let me see. That's probably better. That's like a really accurate um, kind of shot of what the colors look like and everything. I added her one of a kind sign. I can't remember what I log logged and what I didn't because it's been intense, you know, trying to get this done in one day with a child and hardly any help. Like, thank God for my sister. I would have been so screwed. I have some extra balloons here because I'm gonna fill some holes and then whatever extra I have, I can like put on the floor for pictures or whatever. But a couple tips for you guys with the balloon arch, definitely get that pump that my sister used to blow everything up. I got it off Amazon, it was super cheap. Totally, totally worth it, it was like 20 bucks. Another tip is clear command hooks and string. We were trying to put the balloon arch on the command hooks with no string and it's like, there's so many balloons, it's so hard to hook it. So we strung um, clear fishing wire around like three spots and just like hung it. <clears throat> this is kind of falling on one end, which I could just push up, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it gives it like a little flow. I don't know. Um, so that's huge. And this is what happened when I use regular tape for her months. So I have to fix that, but the table is pretty much set up. I just, like I said, I have to wipe this down and take this off. Um, my husband's getting the cake and cookies now, which I will put out. And then the flower arrangements are good. Everything's pretty much set up. I just have to like clean up everything because it's kind of, you know, obviously, hello, this is falling. Um, and then I have to do like a quick mop, sweep, vacuum, clean the bathroom. Um, I have to set up this table. I haven't set this up yet. This is just like holding stuff and I have to wrap gifts. So that is all that's left for me to do until people come around two to three. And then I'm gonna say the party's till about six because you know, she's one and she's not gonna be able to hang. She's gonna get tired. She's gonna need a bath, she's gonna need to get a bed, so. Oh, and last minute, I decided to order her like a little white outfit from Amazon and it was a one day shipping, so. How cute is this? I die, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. It is adorable, like I'm obsessed. The only thing I wish is that she didn't crawl because I don't want her knees to get messed up. I wish she was walking so that she could just walk around in her outfit, but. It was either that or the little pink dress that she wore for her photo shoot. But last minute I was like, I kind of want like a white like boho-y kind of look to go with her backdrop. I don't know, but I love how this came out. So just got to clean everything, twerk everything, twerk, tweak everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys a couple of that, like those things that I'm going to do um, until people start coming. check-in because the party's gonna start in about an hour and a half. I'm probably gonna put her down for one nap quick right then and there, but she's eating lunch and I just kind of finished up. The only thing that I have to do is, are you okay? Is fix up the food uh, table, which is nothing crazy. I'm not decorating, I just need to do the food. The dogs are whining because they want her lunch and I put them in there because she's having grapes and I don't want them to die because that's um, po poisonous to grapes. I mean to dogs, whatever. So, <laughs> Um, I did her dessert table, but it's just, I have to like, you know, I didn't really finish the dessert table to be honest. I just have to clean everything up, put the cookies out. Um, I don't remember if I showed the cookies, but they're adorable, obsessed with them, love them. I think they're so cute. Then I have donuts in here that I have to put on the donut stands. I can't do anything really until like an hour before the party, like put out the cake and all that. So I'm going to show you guys all that after I'm talking right now. But this is all set up, her banner, which looks great. The arrangements look great. I just, I love how everything looks. And then over here is her whole setup, except her high chair I just have to do. And then I did a little kind of thing over here because it was empty anyway, so it worked out. It keeps going in and out, the lighting today, so I hope that the sun just stays out like later, but whatever. So that's what we're looking like and I love it. And then we're done. Everything is moved and cleaned. And this is just the, you know, food table. There's really nothing special on here. Um, 
I did throw out or put out her book that I made when she was born um, just so people can flip through it if they want and then I'm gonna do the charcuterie board which probably won't film because I don't have time I mean there's an hour to the party and I don't I'm not ready and then this is the last like little setup for my nephew I'm gonna have his cake put on here and the cake is super cute um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it there just because this table makes me nervous since it's so small but this is what we're looking like as like just a little something for him, you know? I didn't go crazy, but I didn't want him to feel left out since it is his birthday too. And so when all of this is done and clean, I'll show you guys some like, you know, cute b-roll images of it <laughs> and the party. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!